Yo guys, what's up? And today I'm doing another vlog because today is Vlogmas Day 17. And we're currently in the front room because we've made ourselves some little food. It's uh, like beans and cheese on toast. It looks absolutely disgusting, but it's actually really nice. And we're just going to be watching some American Horror Story. Oh, just kick the blanket off. Oops. Hit the blanket off. Yeah, but we're going to be watching some American Horror Story while we're eating this. And mum is on the floor. Why Say hi. <laughs> <laughs> and also, Key much. stayed yesterday, so that is why yes. she is here. The dog is also with us, and I'm like what? kicking him off slowly but surely. But yeah, today's quite a rushed thing to the vlog, but I'm actually enjoying Vlogmas very, very much. And it's literally, is it eight days? Eight days, yeah. But yeah, um, I don't actually know what I'm going to be doing today. Key's going at half one, it's currently that time. But yeah, um, I don't know exactly what we're doing after we watch our little series and eat our little food. Yeah. But um, yeah, I'm not going to do Advents right now, I'll do Advents in a bit because I can't be bothered to go upstairs right now. So it's now time for Key to go. It might be the other one, or that one. <laughs> we finished watching our little American Horror Story, by the way. Bye bye, my darling. Bye, my darling. I love you, thank you for staying. Yes, no problem. Means a very lot. Bye, my darling. <laughs> Please don't leave me. Goodbye. Goodbye. I guess this is goodbye. See you through the peephole. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Father, father, father. I need the box. Oh. <laughs> goodbye. Bye, my darling. Bye, my darling. Bye, my darling. Bye. <laughs> so, Key's just left, and obviously, um, I'm just um in my room, and Mum is going Dunelm in a bit, and I might go, but Sol's going, so I'm not really sure whether I should go or not. But yeah, I'm going to do my advents quick, because they're just here. So, number 17. I'm actually really bad at finding them on this canal. Here it is. Yeah, I was going to say I'm really bad at finding them on, like, these calendars. And I just ripped the door in about three different places. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah, to you too. And it is Santa. And in this one, I pre-found number 17. It's right here. I think it's going to be a small one. Because there's no point in it being a big one. Oh, maybe not. It feels kind of big. I'm really bad at opening these. I don't want to rip it. Oh, it's a little sneaker. But yeah, I do actually need to get ready because shops will close soon. So I need to get ready and get changed and brush my hair and stuff. And I had a shower last night, so I don't need one today. But yeah, let's go. So we're back home now, and I'm so sorry I couldn't film at Danelle. My phone was being really spazzy. I left with about 31 or 2%, and then literally I went to get out of the car, checked my phone, and it said 1%. I was like, what the hell? I, I didn't even go on it on the journey. I don't even understand. And I didn't have a portable charger or a lead on me at the time. But now I'm home and I don't really know what to film because we're literally doing nothing all evening. So this this vlog is literally the most pointless vlog ever. But yeah, I, lit I literally, I don't even know. I literally don't know what to even film. Sol's in the other room. He's like through there, if you can see. Yeah, but we're not, we're not sure. Do you want to do something? I don't know, something for the vlog. Bob. Not right now, in a bit. That's boring. It's boring. We'll try and think of something to make this more exciting. So, as you guys know, um, I was obviously like looking at this vlog and I was like, it's actually really short and I didn't really know what to talk about. But then I kind of came up with something which I've been thinking about for the whole day, but I just haven't had the chance to say to you guys, like, and yesterday, but like, you know. Just recently, like literally over the past two days, I've been getting this thing where um, my skin's been feeling really fragile and like really um, like delicate. And all of a sudden, like I've just got bruises at my arms. Like, I'll try and find the one that I found yesterday. But I was just like looking at my skin and I had this bruise that just randomly appeared. I don't know if you can see, but there's like these two on my elbow. They're not very like strong or anything, but as you can see, they're like, yeah, you really can't see them very well in this light or anything. I mean, it looks really demented with my little elbow, but you know. And yeah, my skin's been feeling really fragile and I when every time I like cough, because obviously there's a cold going around, I think I've caught this cold and then got this thing. Because every time I cough, I get like a inflammation and like this pain all down my throat, around my chest and on one of my boobs. 
which doesn't really make sense to me because I've never had anything like this before. Like, I've never coughed, like, maybe once. Like, I've just coughed once and it's just happened. And I'm like, oh, God. But literally, every time I cough, it just really hurts. And when I think back to this, I think when have I, when have I like, had this before? And I've had, like, an inflammation in the exact same area when I had pneumonia when I was in year five. So this was about four years ago and I got pneumonia and pleurisy, which is the double lot. And it was actually really bad because I was in hospital for so long, literally about three weeks. And it was during school time, so I missed so much of school. But it was it was kind of cool as well. But we literally only have three more days of school left. So I don't really want to be ill for those, especially not Wednesday, because Wednesday is the last day of term. And I love Wednesdays. But it might just seem like I'm overreacting, but I am actually really concerned because I'm actually prone to it again. Like, I'm prone to get this. And if I do get this, then I literally could die because I had to, I nearly had to get this operation last time where they, like, cut, cut open, like, my body. And then they had to, like, operate on my lungs because it got so bad. But then, in the end, they just decided that they were going to leave it a few days and just kept me on this medication while I was in hospital. And then I was absolutely fine. But, you know, I had to stay in there for quite a long time. And I really don't want to be really ill over Christmas. So the best thing to do is just go and get me checked out where mum is going to take me to the doctors tomorrow morning. And I just I just seriously want to make sure I'm OK. Because, <laughs> yeah, as I said, it seems like I'm really overreacting, but I'm so paranoid right now because it's just like it happened around winter time as well. So I, it was like coming up to Christmas, like I think it was like late November, early December. And I was just like in hospital for so long. And it was like I remember saying to my dad, like, my dad was like, if there's any, my mum and dad weren't together at this time, it was just like, um, he was, he visited me, and I, he remember, he said to me, basically, he said, um, if there's anything you want, then I'll get you it, and I said, um, just get me out of here, because I actually hated it so much, and he, that's always one of the things that he always remembers, and he always brings it up, but yeah, um, I don't know, I just, I am feeling really paranoid at the moment, and I just really want to make sure that nothing happens. I don't really think there's anything bad, I think it's just an inflammation, but then I also get this thing where, if I, because I had just, I literally just had my dinner, and it was so hard to eat, because every time I swallow, I just get like, it feels like there's this lump in my throat, and it just like, pushes out, and it makes me just feel like, oh, like every single time that I would swallow, and it just makes me feel really ill. And every time, obviously, I cough or I laugh, it's just like... Sometimes my voice was going spazzy, like, earlier, I was going, so, and I was like, so... And then I just couldn't talk properly, I was just like... But yeah, and as you can see, my skin's broke out, I've got, like, spots down here. Like, I had two here, and then I've grown one here. I've got a bunch of new spots all on my forehead, which is really weird, because it's not that I... Because normally you get spots around here for drink for if you don't drink enough water, but I've drunk so much water because I wanted to keep on top of it, and that that's not just, like, recently. I always tend to drink quite a lot of water anyway because in school I go for about four bottles which and they're all like 500 ml so I drink like three liters a day but yeah I guess you guys you might understand you might not but it's just like really scary for me and it is it is actually really paranoying me and I've also got like um spots that have just randomly come up on my arm like I've always had like these uh like pimple things up my arms like I don't know if you can't really see no, you you won't be able to see, but they're like these pimple things just all up my arm, and they've always been there my whole life, so I wouldn't really worry about that, but they're just like these, um, they're like these spot ones that I've got now, and they're just like bumpy areas, and I've got like a few patches just up my arm, look, there's another bruise, by the way, see that one right there, that wasn't there, that wasn't there for ages, that literally showed up yesterday night, just because my skin's just feeling really delicate, obviously, as I said, and it's just going all demented, and my arm, as I just said, bumps all over it which just randomly have appeared and it's making me feel a bit weird because also i'm really cold right now like i've got my window shut and i've got my radiator on i'm wearing this and my joggers and as you can see and i'm actually really cold so it's like really demented i'm gonna go and have either a hot bath or a shower in a minute and go to bed but i am gonna end this vlog here because i'm pretty sure you guys are tired of me just rambling so yeah um wish me the best of luck i really don't want to be ill you guys probably just think oh she's just overreacting but, you know, I'm trying my best. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then be sure to leave me with a big thumbs up and drop a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos every single day. And I'll see you next time when I'm doing something more exciting. Bye!